if we are expecting our city residents to live here, then what we need to start doing is everything in our power to ensure that they can afford to live here. It's not easy to leave your roots. It's not easy um, to leave the neighborhoods that witness you grow up. In 2022, Melissa Beltran was making $44,000 working for the city's public health commission, barely keeping up with rent. I remember trying to go through the shelter avenue, having hiccups in that, and it was just, it just felt really difficult. She has since received a raise. It's helped, but like so many, she was forced to consider leaving the city she loves. Heartbreaking. Mr. Clerk, would you please... On Wednesday, City Council scheduled a hearing to discuss access to affordable housing and increased pay for city workers. And my hope is, is that this hearing order will open up the dialogue. The average monthly rent in Boston is more than $3,900 compared to the national average, just over $1,700. While according to the city's earning report, 7,500 city employees make less than $30,000 a year. For inspiration, city council is looking to cities like New York, where trade unions have committed millions to support a similar initiative. In the meantime, officials say police, fire, sanitation workers, clerks, and more are leaving the city that needs them. It costs too much to live here, you know, while working for the city. The city does have a program that provides up to $10,000 for eligible employees needing help with housing, though the workers we spoke to say it's not enough. We did ask the council if they're considering revoking that residency requirement. They have not had that discussion yet. A hearing will be scheduled in the coming weeks. In Boston, Laura Hayfleet, WBZ News.